r slash ask reddit what consistently leaves you disappointed but you just keep trying thinking my job will get better reddit thanks everyone for my first ever awards i never expected this reaction happy to announce i have a job interview next week so here's hoping i left a job after 15 years they were never going to improve and i was a fool too afraid of change or too complacent in the convenience to take the risk this only benefits them they were underpaying me by at least $5 HR and taking advantage of my good nature and apprehension to leaving. It honestly made my anxiety so much worse in ways I hadn't realized until I left. But what I'm saying is, find a way out. I've been with my current employer for about 15 years, and I have a third and final interview with a different company today after my shift. The pay and benefits will be better, and I would have so much less stress and pressure on me all the time. When I read your comment, it felt like I wrote it. Wish me luck. I'm hoping to resign tomorrow. Edit. Thanks so much to all the well wishes and shows of support. But it's no longer necessary. I just got out of the interview. And I got the job. I love you all. I wish you all the best of luck in your careers as well. Trying to keep in contact with my one-sided friendships. I just cut off my best friend after 5 years of maintaining a one-sided friendship. Took me way too long to realize she was only my friend when it was convenient for her to have me as a friend. I'm getting there. I moved to another state. And whenever I visit my home state I have a friend of 10 years that I only get to see once in my 2 weeks of visiting. Despite staying 30 minutes away from them. And seeing all of my other friends almost daily who live just as far. If I'm not meeting them halfway, and at a spot of their choosing, they will come up with an excuse saying that it's too far and traffic will be bad. So maybe another time. As if me flying across country to see him and my friends wasn't inconvenient enough for me. Only reason I haven't dropped him is because he will reach out to me when enough silence has happened between us. It's just hard to let go. Trying to enjoy my free time like I used to. It's weird how at a certain age you stop truly enjoy your free time either because you're thinking about how soon it might end or you're too exhausted from work to give a fig. Mine is more looking around the house and seeing things to be cleaned, folded, dusted, etc. Free time is an illusion. Michael. Growing indoor plants. Learn to test the soil with your finger. It's so much easier than trying to stay on a schedule because moisture in the air and the type of pod it's in also affect the drying rate. Just stick your finger an inch or so down and see if it's still damp. If not, water. Or do that test and wait a couple more days and water. My plants do better overall when they spend some time needing water. Dating. I joked with my friends that I had to stop dating while I'm trying to get a new job because there's only so much disappointment I can take. It's true though, rejection gives people physical pain. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Don't forget Sunday night when you start stressing about going to work on Monday. Ever have this dread on a Saturday because you're reaching the weekend halfway mark? Any competitive multiplayer video game with teammates. I've noticed over the years that I only get invested in solo competitive games. It was StarCraft and SC2 many years ago and recently I've gotten into team fight tactics. I can own my own mistakes and work on it, but I don't want to work through the ups and downs of good versus bad teammates. I love Dota, and I hate Dota. Ordering fries from home, they always arrive cold. Get an air fryer, they reheat fries back to perfection. This works for pizzas and sandwiches too. Edit. It figures my most upvoted comment so far is about food. I'm an air fryer advocate for life. My 24 year old daughter. I love her with all my heart and soul but her addiction is disappointing. She lies constantly. She doesn't see my grandson misses her. I am constantly trying to get her to go to rehab. I tell her how important she is. I only speak to her in kind loving words. She makes promises then disappears for weeks. Sometimes up to a month only to contact me again and restart the process of lies and false promises. I do not give her money. She doesn't stay at my house she lives on the streets and couch hops at her friends houses so I don't have much contact with her. She knows I don't approve of her lifestyle but I also make sure she knows I love her.
My younger daughter was murdered a few years ago. It devastated my family. On the three year anniversary of my younger daughter's death my older daughter fell into addiction. This is coming from an alcoholic and an addict. You. Cannot. Make. An addict. Change. You can't. I know that's hard and so painful. But harsh realities are the only way an addict can even get close to wanting to change. When you're addicted to something it feels like your lifeline. It feels like your truest and only friend. No matter what you have to remember you have to take care of yourself and your grandson. If she wants to change then she has to make the steps to do it. I'm so sorry you're going through this. But please take care of yourself first. You've done all you can. Edit. I didn't expect this to blow up. Or receive so much positive response. Thanks for making my day and sharing your stories. Guys. There's always hope. Remember that. Just hold yourself accountable. Accept the support when you're given it. And please don't give up on yourself. My stepdad said his moment of reawakening from his addiction to drugs was when he was certified dead for 10 minutes and they brought him back after a massive overdose. Sometimes it takes a really serious situation for people to see the path to getting true help. Making non-awkward conversation with strangers. Props for actually trying. It's easy for me to speak but funny enough. It's my body language and eye contact that I can't seem to do better at. It's like I'm looking at myself out of body and thinking I look like a dumbass. It's hard to break out of the habit of internalizing yourself too much. My job as a teacher. As a college student who's set to become a HS history teacher in two years the sheer negativity I see coming from teachers about their jobs is discouraging to say the least edit. Turned off reply notifications to tune out everyone telling me to not become a teacher. This is my calling and I'm more than excited about this career. When I told one of my professors that I was planning to go into teaching, they immediately replied to try to get into AP or IB as soon as I could. I didn't listen for a few years. And even tried to change careers after my first year but couldn't find what I was looking for. Now that I've switched curriculum I would never go back. It's a totally different experience. Life edit. Thanks for the concern. But I'm not suicidal. Just really tired. Just really tired. Amen. Covid shut down the world and upped my workload at the same time. I've been tired every day for 2 years now. I'm too young to feel this bad. Can't wait to see the psychological studies about the long term effects of the last couple years. Depression is already at a pretty high level. I can't imagine things are going to improve without significant mental health investment. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Found it. I knew it'd be here. Even though it's not a hockey related sub. I knew it. Relationships. Same fam. As soon as the honeymoon phase is over and the relationship shifts to a comfortable domestic partnership either one or both parties lose interest. At least in my experience anyway. Probably not like that for everyone else though. I guess if you're only interested in relationships for the passion and excitement then yeah it probably won't last more than a year tops. But if you're interested in relationships for the companionship, intimacy and commitment then it is more rewarding to maintain one over the years. I think a lot of people don't understand that the dynamic switches from a feeling to a choice. But I definitely don't think it's doomed to end after the honeymoon phase. Marriages and long term partnerships should be enough proof of that. Getting sober edit wow thank you all for the support. It's very touching all the kind words. I'm gonna keep trying and again thank you for all the words of inspiration. God bless you all. Can't believe this is so far down the list. Alcohol sucks. Tinder. 100%. And to add to that. Bumble. The whole concept is that you'll match with confident women who have to message first. But do they do that? Nope. They just let it expire. Hey. Trusting other people. Yes, I've been let down more times than an inflatable castle. Yup, people are just full of hot air. Like inflatable castles. Interviewing for a good paying job. Wouldn't that be a red flag to not have the salary agreed upon by the time of offer? I've noticed that salary range has been discussed in my first phone screeners lately and assumed that had become the norm. I just went through this. I may have screwed up by sharing my wage with them but I made sure I told them a wage that was significantly higher than my actual wage. I actually make 41,800 a year. I told them I made 48,000. 
I was offered 52,000 with a 5k annual bonus. Good luck out there. Trying to make friends. I understand him not everyone's cup of tea. But it hurts being the outcast sometimes. I keep being friendly though. I feel you. I once had a therapist ask how do you define a friend? I thought about it for a while and said. I guess someone who is willing to meet me for a coffee when I need someone to talk to. My closest friend moved during quarantine. The other friends I have, guess they are just acquaintances. I was so depressed and isolated and just wanted to get out of the house about 6 months ago. I asked so many friends out for coffee or lunch and there was always an excuse or they said sure and then cancelled. I know they didn't understand how much I needed a friend right then. But is a cup of coffee really such a hard commitment? Makes me feel like there is something wrong with me that I can't make friends. Maybe I just annoy everyone and I don't know why. But I keep going. I guess sometimes that's the best we can do. My problem is that I only make friends when I don't want any friends. Making friends and being around family. I'm your new mom now. Dinner is at 6. And we can talk about your day. Say oh just when my traffic starts to grow. Google changes some shit and I go back 30%. I don't do any black hat shit but it's hard for a one person blog to compete with big businesses. But I still keep trying. YouTube also has odd behavior. I shot up to 100 subscribers quickly. But since then it's been an absolute crawl and my sub growth feels like it's hit a hard wall. I always try to improve my work but at the same time. It sometimes feels like luck and waiting. Trying to lose weight. For what it's worth, I felt the same way and worked with a therapist about body image and disordered eating. I genuinely feel pretty good most of the time. It's unbelievably freeing to get over the mindset that every day is either a cheat day or a diet day. Didn't mean for this to be preachy. Hoping you find peace with yourself. I'm shocked that nobody has said sex yet. I dated a girl for 2 years who could not climax. And trust me, I tried my dimmer darndest. So I imagine from her perspective it was painfully disappointing to want intimacy but not get any fulfillment out of it. After we broke up, I slept around a bit and rediscovered how awesome it feels to sleep with someone that actually gets something out of the experience. Such a good feeling. I've been that girl. Lack of climax plus medication that makes your libido die doesn't make sex fun. It's awful that the partner wants sex, but you don't basically ever feel like doing it, and when you do it anyway, it feels like nothing. Smoked turkey drumsticks. Every year at the fair I get one as if I had completely forgotten that I told myself I don't like them the prior year. What's not to love about a lovely bouquet of tendons and purple meat shards? Twizzlers. They look and smell like they might be tasty but they always just taste like vaguely cherry flavored wax. I actually kinda like them for this exact reason lol. No idea why. Like I'm fully aware they are bland cherry wax sticks. But they hold a special place in my heart. Auditioning for film theater. Huge reason why I quit acting. Couldn't stand the constant hope and disappointment. Even over the smallest dumbest roles. Eventually I realized nobody is casting my type at all anymore. So I pivoted to working tech and I've made a career of it. Working a trade in the arts can be far more rewarding. Or at least makes for a better paycheck. The sushi at Costco. ETA. This is not fresh sushi made there. The brand is Okami. Don't buy. Why do this to yourself? Ha, huh, you're better than this. I always wonder about Markdown Walmart Sushi. Is anyone out there that brave? Trying to find someone to love. I think I'm going to give up because I'm getting nowhere with it. I don't know what point you're at in your search. But you should try taking a different look at the relationship. You may be focusing on the wrong aspects. Such as only looking for love. This could be blinding you. Love means so much more than what you think. Try just meeting people first. See where it goes. You can meet new people from them and try new things. Which can change your views. Be patient. There's someone for everyone. Just be happy with yourself first. Finding someone to love is easy. Getting that person to like you back is the hard part. Reddit. I keep coming back for the occasional interesting conversation or comment thread. 
but I mostly just get disappointed by how depressed so many PPL on Reddit are. Not saying it's their fault for being depressed, but it just gets to be a lot of negative energy. See the majority of this post's responses for examples. Having an open and reasonable discussion on any political subreddit. Wrong, you're brainwashed, you're just being unreasonable. Ha, huh, the irony. You're probably a 14Y, a wedge lord and a 41Y, a living in your mama's basement. Ever heard of Vietnam? Loser? They're thieves, pedophiles, lizards, communists, furries. If you believe that then you're just part of the problem. Claw machines. My self esteem. Life. It is beginning to feel like insanity trying to get anything worthwhile from it. Owning a house. Trying to take two strokes off my golf game. Hi I am Mr. Me seeks look at me. Getting through the day. It's just draining. Being an adult. It sucks ass. Society in general. Every time I feel I have seen the worst that humanity has to offer. Someone or a group of someones show up with the hold my beer attitude. Lottery tickets. My faith in humanity. Making mayonnaise. Earning a paycheck. Me and my wife trying to get pregnant. Took a year for our first and that constant negative test was brutal. We have been trying a year now for a second to the same disappointment. Until last week. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.